This is an electronics project that I'm developing to recover small microphones from electronic waste, from equipment that is not working and going to trash. And I'll try to connect the microphone to the computer and use it to record. But first, subscribe to the channel. During the prototype phase, things get very messy on the table. We have screws, tools, resistors that I will need a multimeter, cables, 3.5 jack connections, a 3.5 male jack for testing and another 3.5 female jack. This is a breadboard with all the connections made and with the resistors that I will need already connected and the remaining cables that I will need. Here I have audio jacks to test continuity. I have here a female jack and a male jack which I connect to the crocodile here and I can test the continuity on the multimeter to make sure that I'm connecting to the correct pins. And here I have my resistors, various types of resistors, big and small ones, which I keep here. And these are the resistors between 1 and 2 kilo ohms. So I chose those two that I need, which are these 10 kilo ohm resistors that are the resistors for the project. If you look at the circuit diagram that I have here, I know that the right wire will connect to this pin on the right of the connector to a resistor. Here is the wire on this pin. The left wire connects to the pin on this side and also to a resistor of 10 kilo ohms which is the one that comes out of here, connects here to this resistor. Then both resistors go into the microphone and then go out to the ground. So they're connected on this row, both resistors, which then goes out here to the microphone. And then when it comes out, it goes back here to the ground. It goes to the ground of the jack. And that's how this prototype works. This is the electronic circuit to get the microphone to work connected to a computer. So let's test if this project is working to recover the microphone. I have the microphone here already connected. The microphone connects to the breadboard, then passes to a 10 kilo ohm resistor, then connects to a computer and then goes back out to the ground on the jack. So let's plug it in, plug the 3.5 millimeter jack into the plug and now plug it on the computer. And now let's check if the microphone taken from e-waste is working with the circuit set up connected to a computer. Let's run an audio program here to record, take the microphone and say in Portuguese Olá. Estamos a testar este microfone que foi retirado de lixo eletrónico. Será que o áudio é bom? Let's see how the recording turn out. We stop the recording, we go back to the beginning and let's see. Olá, estamos a testar este microfone que foi retirado de lixo eletrónico. Será que o áudio é bom? So it's working. We managed to make this little microphone from e-waste to work on a computer. Like many other components that get thrown into the trash when the equipment stops working, it still works and can be used as a normal microphone for a computer. And it works perfectly. And the audio isn't bad. I hope you enjoyed this electronics project and to see how my work table looks like during the developing of a project or a small electronics prototype. Everything is a mess. And I also hope you enjoy recovering components from electronic waste because when the device goes to the trash, these small components can be recovered and reused to have a new life. In this case, I have to create a circuit to be able to read the microphone and send the audio to the computer. Simple. Now subscribe to the channel because I post new videos every week. Like if you enjoy this project and if you have any questions write in the comments because I read and answer to all comments.